All right, so it is pretty thick. I'm hoping it's gonna give me some uh, decent coverage to just sort of even out my skin tone. I actually really like how this is going on. It might be um, slightly off skin tone wise, but I don't think that's so much light and dark. It seems right about the same level of fairness I usually get, but it seems a little warmer than the usual undertones I go for. Okay, I do like the color a little better now that um, it, it, it's not so patchy. Once the whole skin is covered, it's a little more uniform. Now that I have the whole face done, I like the color a little better. Um, it is a bit warmer than my actual skin tone. Uh, I usually get sort of a cooler undertone. However, um, it did even out the skin tone really well. It did a good job at covering up redness and where my complexion's a little splotchy right now. Um, but it is not full coverage. You can still see I need a little concealing here and there's still a little uh, discoloration here that comes through. Uh, but otherwise, I really like the um, finish on it, but the color's a little off for me. And this is the um, pale light color. But moving on, uh, I also have been uh, looking for a new concealer because I am pretty sure the uh, Julep Complexion Cushion I like so well is going to um, be harder to find for me now that it's not at Ulta. So I picked up the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Fair 4 and Fair 8, and I am hoping one of these works for my um, pasty, pasty white skin. Now I've heard a lot of people say these are sort of comparable to uh, shape tape, but since they're only $6 a pop, it is definitely a price difference. Uh, I will say some settling has definitely occurred on these, <clears throat> but hopefully it all uh, smooths out to a nice consistency. Okay, here is the 08 and here is the 04. I think the 08 is actually a Decent match for my skin tone. It might be a little dark, um, but the 04 is a little lighter, which is what I like to go for for a concealer. So I think I am going to use that one. And it just comes with a little Dofa applicator. It's got quite a bit of grab on it. It doesn't want to uh, blend into this skin veil. But it's also not sinking into the lines much at all. So um, the consistency at least seems to be working out pretty well. And I'm going to use just a dab of this to do a little spot concealing. Uh, actually, this light, lighter color does blend out pretty well with my skin tone. Um, in a couple months, I might have to mix in some of that darker color once um, I get some sun. But since at the moment it's practically a uh, flood outside, I'm not in any danger of too much sun for uh, the foreseeable future. I actually don't think it's all that comparable to Shape Tape. Um, shape tape is a lot thinner and it smooths out quite a bit um, easier and it has blended into essentially every foundation I have thrown at it. This one's a lot thicker. It's got a lot more grab to it. It doesn't settle quite so much, but it also doesn't smooth it out quite so much. So while there isn't very much settled into my lines here under the eyes, they're not quite as concealed as I would like. Um, but for $6, I think it actually does a pretty good job of brightening up the under eye area. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some powder on this and just set this to uh, start with for our foundation. I'm going to use my regular Cover FX powder. I really like this powder. I'm not a fan of the whole double lid setup. I always end up forgetting what I am doing and dumping it all over the place. However, despite the messiness, I, I do like it quite a bit.
Okay, here is the base layer of my face today. You can uh, see that there is still just a little uh, darkness under my eye that the uh, concealer didn't really take care of. However, it doesn't look that bad. For $6, I will certainly keep using it. However, it's, it's not up there for me. It's not up there with my Julep or the Shape Tape, so not a replacement for me. But definitely something good to uh, rotate in, especially when I'm not looking for something, you know, really full coverage and, you know. Okay, so I feel a little naked without my brows. So the uh, non-ColourPop thing I have left is this Iconic London uh, Brow Cushion. I got this in a uh, boxy charm, I believe, and it was... Um, listed at an outrageous price of like 30 40 bucks for um a brow cushion with the little foldable brush but i have not actually tried it out yet other than to swatch it so i am going to um put on my brows with this teeny little brush and uh comb and the fabulous brow cushion uh when i swatched it the uh light brown color actually ended up being quite dark and so i'm going to go with that rather than the darker color for sure the darker color is just far too dark for my um pretend hair color it is very squishy when you push it you get a lot of liquid here um, a couple pats has overcoated the brush Okay, so I have gone ahead and put on my brows with the brow cushion. Um, they are super uneven and they are kind of a hot mess here. It was really hard to control uh, how liquidy it was and um, to get any sort of precise application with the brush. I don't know if that is user error or what, but I am not a fan. I mean, it's too dark for me. It's too hard to control. It's, um, it's not my best look here brow-wise, but we will... Uh, plunge forward and hopefully the rest of it um, makes up for this brow mess. But I am I am de not a fan of that brow cushion. If you know how to make one of those work for you, but I am apparently, I need my brow pencil. Okay, so the uh, first thing I have here to try from ColourPop, I picked up one of their Super Shock blushes in um, a wild and outrageous color. This is called Tuned In. And I love their Super Shock shadows. I love their Super Shock highlighters. I have not tried one of their Super Shock blushes before. I'm not even sure if I should go in with fingers or with an actual brush. However, um, given the uh, brightness and, and apparent pigmentation of this color, I think I'm going to go in with a brush just to try to have some more control over it. So this is the Alexi Small Contour brush that I got from um, some sort of subscription box. I can't remember, but I really do like the little ergonomic handle it's got going on here. Okay, I think I have picked some up. Okay, it's a little hard to pick up with a brush, so this might be one that I have to go in with a finger like the other Super Shocks. Okay, actually putting it on with one and blending it out with a clean finger does seem to uh, get pretty good color payoff. Okay, so this is a super duper pink, which I think is what you get when you choose your blush shade based on what looks pretty on the uh, internet and not what's going to look good on my actual complexion. However, I love a pink blush and I am going to make this work. Give me just a second with my powder here. So I have actually grabbed a little of the Cover FX powder on this blush, blush brush. And I am just going to go over the top and blend that in ever so slightly. Okay, I went in way too heavy on this side. That is obvious. Okay, but I think that cleaned up very nicely. I do like the bright pink, um, and I like the finish on the blush. Okay, so that actually, uh, I like the color of the pink, um, but it is a little splotchy, and I'm not sure if that has to do with my um, powder that I put on before the blush or not. I may have to try that with um, doing powder after the blush next time. 
However, it is really good color payoff, as you would expect from something that is basically hot pink. And I am actually going to put a highlighter on this. Um, I picked up one of the ColourPop Villains collections. This is Maleficent. The whole reason I picked it was because of the lipstick color that we will look at in a minute, but it also comes with a highlighter. So my Maleficent highlighter did come a little cracked. Okay, this chunk here wanted to lift out when I removed the uh, film from the container. However, their Super Shock highlighters are pretty soft. I went ahead and patted it down in there and it seems to be staying put. So we're gonna put a little of this on now with the pink. I do really like this bronzy highlighter, especially with summer coming up. It's got a nice uh, sheen here. Um, it's a little darker than my skin tone, but it's just sort of a bronzy look. So I think that works pretty well. Let me grab a makeup wipe before I have everything super glittery. Okay, and then there are two lip products that came with each of the Villain collections. For Maleficent, the liquid lip was an ultra glossy lip in the color My Pet. So here is the applicator for those liquid lips. It is just a tiny little brush. And then the color is this iridescent purple. I actually think this is gonna be pretty good for um, nights out when I want something that's uh, sh pretty shiny. However, the thing that sold me on this kit was this lipstick here. First of all, I love these Villain Collection tubes with all the graphics. You can see the Maleficent. Uh, you've got the Raven here. All the little danger signs. Um, but I couldn't live without this fuchsia color. And there is the swatch. This is the lip color we are going to do. Okay, here is the lip color on. I really love how this looks. Um, I really dig a bright lip, especially this fuchsia color. I have a couple different fuchsia colors that I really like, but I really enjoy this ColourPop formula. It's very smooth and satiny feeling on your lips. It doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't feel super matte and drying. So that really appeals to me. And I also want to point out that my, uh, Villains lipstick says Villains on the actual lipstick, which is a lovely touch. Okay, so now that the face is mainly done, we are going to go for an eye look. I did not pick up the Misunderstood Villains palette. Um, I felt like I could dupe a lot of the shades that I wanted with stuff that is already in my collection. Uh, I did, however, pick up a ColourPop eyeshadow palette. It is the Just My Luck palette with greens. If you have seen me do my makeup before, you know I love a green eyeshadow. And here is the collection for the Just My Luck palette. There is Chances Are, Kiss My Hass, 50 50, Big Banks, Mary Jane. All of you, Act Natural, Mo Bamba, and Charmed. Uh, Charmed is a matte brown color. It is sort of the um, creasy transition color in this palette. The only other real mattes are the Chances Are and the Act Natural. The rest all have varying levels of shimmer. And so we are going to do a nice green eye look to go with the pink lip and cheek because um, I'm feeling that peppy pink and green look right now. So I think the first thing I am going to do is an all over lid color and I'm going to go with Chances Are. Now I usually get the Super Shock shadows. This is their regular shadow formula. It is just a little powdery. And I don't know if you can see it on camera but there's actually a little smoke powder rising off of my eye as I brush this on. So it, it I cannot, uh, overstate how powdery this particular one is. However, I did not get any fallout from putting that on. It seems to just be powdery in the pan and coming off the brush. Once it hits my eye, it seems to be staying put. Okay, so here is my base layer. 
I think I'm going to go all in and go for Mary Jane here in the center of the lid. Okay, that one's a little harder to pick up on the brush. Let's see what the color payoff is like. Okay, you can definitely see where the color is, but it's going to take a little more layering to get it as vibrant as it is in the pan. Okay, there we are. It took a couple different layers of shadow to get it built up to that color, but it is a really gorgeous yellow-green color, sort of chartreuse with just a touch of sparkle in it. And then for the outer corner, I am going to go in with a darker color. I think I am going to do this Act Natural because I don't want to add another glitter color to this look. I think it's going to be uh, extra enough all by itself. Okay, that one is actually giving me a ton of fallout here. Um, that's going to take some extra makeup to clean up. Oh, yeah, you can see where it is just um, falling down here from the brush. Okay, so that one is super extra messy. Let's see about cleaning it up. Okay, so I went in and cleaned up as much of it as I could, and then I put just a little concealer over the top. Um, but that um, Act Natural color was possibly the uh, messiest fallout situation I have ever encountered. Okay, I am going to grab a little bit more of this Chances Are and kind of clean up a little here. Okay, so that is my green eyeshadow look. Again, this one here in the corner was super duper messy. Uh, but overall, I do like these colors. I especially like that chartreuse. And there's a couple other colors in the pan that I am eager to try. And then to top it off, I picked up one of the cream gel liners. This one is in gold. And it is just a twist up eyeliner. I'm going to lean out of frame to try to put this on um, somewhat symmetrical and straight. Okay, that actually went on very smooth and creamy for just a touch of gold at the lid line. I also did just a touch of it on the inner corner. Um, it went on smooth and creamy. It is a very light color though, so the color payoff is not fabulous however i would totally get these in an entire complement of colors they were it was very nice going on okay and then the last thing i am going to do is put on some mascara i am going to go for my butter london power up mascara that i have been using okay so this is two coats on the upper lashes and one on the lower lashes and um i like this look i mean I don't think I would typically wear the bright eyes with the bright lips, but I like the um, individual pieces here. So uh, uh, there is one thing I want to try, and that is this uh, other lip product. Since I think this lip and these eyes are a little too much together and I do have to leave the house today, I think I'm going to try this liquid lip as well. Okay, it doesn't stain too badly. It came off pretty well with a makeup wipe and tissue. So let's take a look at this one. Okay, this is the Ultra Glossy Lip. You can see it is ultra glossy. It is also sticky as all get out. Uh, I'm hoping it dries down just a little bit to make it a little more wearable. And I'm not feeling a lot of Maleficent from this color. However, I do think it is just a little more toned down, it's despite the gloss and glitter compared to the super bright one. So I think if I had to pick one to go with this eye look, I would stick with this. I keep rambling on and losing my train of thought. I think what I was going to say is that um, I don't like this lip as well as the previous one, but I like it better with this eye look. So I will be sticking with it for the remainder of the day, including for the unboxing video I am about to film. So if you want to catch that, hit subscribe, come back and see me. I really like all the pieces, I'm just going to have to try them in a little more moderation.